This is the Algolaser DIY Kit MK2. And being fully transparent, Algolaser reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in trying this product out. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm always interested in trying out a new piece of hardware. Let me go ahead and set the expectation for how reviews are going to be handled on this channel. Rule number one is I will not be paid to say something. And rule number two is companies will not be allowed to review content before it is uploaded onto my channel. So real quick, let's go over the unit that we have here. This is the Algo Laser DIY Kit MK2. It's a 10 watt diode laser and they sent the laser itself along with a honeycomb platform and an air assist. If you've been here for a minute, you would know that laser engraving is not my main focus on this channel, but I'm fairly familiar with the DIY space and technology in general. And the DIY kit MK2 is no different. Right from the start, I found the unboxing and the setup of this unit incredibly easy and straightforward. Looking at the packaging of this unit, we could say that it's well designed and well thought out, ensuring that each individual part and piece of this unit arrives at the consumer in its expected condition. Both of these giving the advantage to the consumer for an easy setup and installation of the DIY kit MK2. With one minor caveat that I will mention. After setting up the unit, I had a little bit of a panic mode on first startup. My panic was caused by turning the unit on for the first time and being greeted by a red warning screen. The very first thing I did after seeing the screen was to power down the unit and to check all the connections and to make sure all the hardware was installed the way it should be installed. After about 30 or 40 minutes of trying to figure out what was going wrong with the unit, I found out that it wasn't a hardware issue. It's not a firmware issue. It's something incredibly simple. This unit comes with an e-stop button or an emergency stop. And the way it's shipped is that emergency stop is in the down position. And all I had to do was make sure that I released it. And quite often this can be an issue when trying to track down the solutions to a problem you are facing, as our minds are trained to track down the complex rather than the simple. Once this unit was up and running, I immediately begun testing. But this is where I ran into my first problem. This problem has very little to do with Algo Laser and the DIY kit MK2, and it's more about the way my filming space is set up. You see, my filming space is a studio. This is not a shop. This studio is very small and enclosed, and it doesn't have a lot of filtration options or open air for windows. Once I informed Algo Laser of my situation, they immediately sent me the enclosure without question. Once I received it, I set the enclosure up and began testing again. One of the cool things about the DIY Kit MK2 is there are multiple ways that you could use this unit. The DIY Kit MK2 comes with its own OS with a touchscreen where you can scroll through and use different options that they have on there to control and even engrave from the front of the unit. But this unit is also fully compatible with LightBurn and Laser GRBL. The DIY Kit MK2 also has a fully developed mobile app that fully integrates with the operating system of this unit. This means that people that purchase this unit don't have to go through and buy extra software to be able to use the unit. But while their operating system is well thought out and designed and their mobile app is incredibly user friendly, I mostly found myself using Lightburn. My channel mainly focuses on 3D printing and luckily I have a wife who finds 3D printing rather interesting. But she never really asked me to 3D print or anything. But when I told her Algo Laser was sending this unit over, she immediately had all sorts of ideas for things she wanted me to engrave with the DIY kit MK2. If you've been struggling to get your wife or girlfriend into the makerspace or your different hobbies, you need to get yourself a laser engraver. You have no idea how much live, laugh, love you could do with a unit like this, but trust me, your wife or girlfriend does. You don't even need to tell her that there's an add-on for this unit that you could use to engrave on her favorite Stanley tumbler. Once you have the unit set up, it's incredibly easy to focus the unit for engraving. All you need to do is place the material inside the frame and then drop this focus tool on top of it. Once this focus tool is placed on your material, you simply unloosen the head of your laser. This lowers the laser down onto the lip of this focus tool. Once you're resting on this lip, you simply tighten down the laser and the laser is focused for engraving. Before I even had this unit set up, my wife already had a laundry list of different things that she wanted me to engrave. Making a gift like this so my wife can give it to somebody is incredibly easy. Realistically, all I have to do is go in, arrange a few vectors, and once I have it in place, I'm simply adjusting the speed and power of the laser. Once you figure out the speed and power for your laser, the DIY Kit MK2 
easily pumps out high quality engravings. Engraving something on this thinner piece of wood or the smaller picture and then cutting it out is no problem at all. But what if you wanted to be a little more risky? Say you wanted to take this machine to its absolute limits. Well, how much can you realistically cut out? This unit can engrave and cut patterns out of thinner wood like this all day long. So why would I go ahead and try it out of something like half inch? Well, the answer is really easy. Somebody told me that it can't do this. And whenever somebody tells me I can't do something, I'm immediately going to try to do just that. One of the reasons I'm able to do this on the DIY kit MK2 is because this unit was sent with an air assist. The way this air assist works is it's connected directly to the laser itself, making sure that it blows away any fine particles, dust, or debris that might be in the way of the path of the laser. Let's take a look at two matching pieces. One was engraved with the air assist on and the other engraved with the air assist off. The first one engraved with the air assist off, you can notice that there's burning and charring on the edges of the cut path. And the second with the air assist on, you can notice that there's a crisp contrast in between the cut and the engraving and the material itself. It's not hard to see that the part that was engraved with the air assist on has a higher quality engraving as well as higher quality cut lines. Just keep in mind, if you want to buy this system, the Air Assist is an add-on. And from everything I've seen, the Air Assist comes in two varieties. One being a simple one that plugs into the AC power and has a dial so you can adjust the airflow to the unit itself. And the second one being an Air Assist that plugs directly into the Algo Laser units and could be controlled by the machine code remotely. For the moment, my wife has run out of ideas for me to laser engrave for her. And this means I have the opportunity to laser engrave something for myself. It may come as a little bit of a shocker, but I'm a huge Star Trek fan. So I was able to take a minute and laser engrave this plaque from the show Voyager. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and put that back there. Eventually, what I want to do is get a plate of brass and see if I can replicate more closely what's from the show. And eventually, maybe hang that onto the wall. I think it would be really cool to be able to engrave the original Voyager plaque onto a piece of plate brass. Speaking of Star Trek, Alva Laser sent a few of these black coated business cards to engrave on. So I figured, why not stick to the theme and drop a blueprint of the USS Enterprise? The quality of this engraving is honestly perfect. And I guess realistically, I shouldn't have expected anything other than that as my experience so far with the Algo Laser DIY Kit MK2 has been realistically flawless. Sticking with the theme of DIY, this card got me thinking, wouldn't it be cool to take this unit and try to do something like a DIY stainless steel debit or credit card? This is something I've looked at for years and always thought would be really cool to do. So in the future, I think it would be awesome to do a DIY debit or credit card using the Algo Laser. Up to this point, I've engraved on some thinner pieces of wood and I've even cut through this half inch piece of wood right here. And then I've engraved on the business cards with the black coating. But there's one more thing that was sent with the Algo laser that I haven't engraved on yet. This unit ships with a medium sized piece of black acrylic with a protective coating on both sides for transportation. But realistically, what am I gonna do with this? Now I've always found it cringing whenever somebody orders one of those YouTube reward plaques for themselves or make something like that. So we definitely don't want to do anything like that, right? But we definitely don't want to waste a piece of acrylic. I mean, it's not wood. It definitely doesn't grow on trees. So what do we do with it? It was never my intention to do YouTube. This has just been the result of a happy accident. And thankfully to my viewers, recently my channel has been monetized. And the very first extravagant purchase that I've made with my AdSense revenue is this right here. But not to be overly extravagant, but maybe we should commemorate this special occasion. This gives me the perfect chance to tease a new printer that I just got into the studio. The quality of the engraving on this acrylic is on par with everything else that I've seen from this unit. And I'll say one thing that the MK2 has convinced me is that I might be interested in buying more acrylic for future projects. Overall, the DIY kit MK2 has exceeded my expectations, not only with the product's quality, but also the quality of engravings that it's able to deliver. But real quick, let's go over a few other things from Algo Laser. Obviously, we have the air assist that can be used with this unit. 
But outside of this, we have options like the Honeycomb platform itself, but also things like the Rotary Roller, which gives you the ability to engrave on mugs and other cylindrical items. For me, the enclosure is an absolute must when using this unit, especially since I'm in a studio and not in a larger shop with well-ventilated space. And much like the Air Assist system, there are two varieties of the enclosure itself. The enclosure that Algolaser gracefully sent me was their black fabric enclosure with their active exhaust fan and overhead LED light. One thing I'll mention is I would have loved to have been able to film more footage for the review of this unit. However, the black fabric enclosure made this incredibly difficult as it's hard to position the camera and the small overhead window makes it really difficult to film and it's not very interesting since it's only from one direction. But I'm grateful that Algolaser was able to send the enclosure as I wouldn't have been able to do the review without it. That being said, I really feel like this unit would shine even more when paired with their Enclosure 2.0, as the Enclosure 2.0 has an overhead camera, not only for remote viewing, but also to be able to align the laser itself with the material that you'll be engraving on. But even without all that, the Algo Laser DIY Kit MK2 has been an excellent unit to be able to use. This product has exceeded my expectations, and overall, I'm incredibly happy with the quality that comes from the DIY kit MK2. Using this unit has been more than fun, and I'm really looking forward to being able to use it with future ideas and projects.